Before proceeding with the video, I would like to clarify that this video does not promote piracy. I've just shown how to run an emulator for educational purposes only. Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to provide a full and detailed tutorial on how to download and get Ryujinx working. As it is not really straightforward, and anyone can mess up the firmware step. So watch carefully and follow my exact steps, and try not to skip the video and you can see how good it is. Even a mid-range Molly device can run Skyrim well enough, so let's move on. I've provided a direct link to the files in the description, so please like and hit that subscribe button for not using a website with ads popping at every second. Firstly, install the Ryujinx APK, open it and allow the permission. Open the settings, then import product and license keys. Now here comes the important part. If you mess up here, then most of your games will crash. So pay attention, open the app data, go to the location where you have downloaded the files. Open this folder and select all, this is important. If you select the whole registered folder, then it wouldn't work. Now, go to the Ryu Jinx folder and direct to this path. And paste the files. But it is not over yet. You won't see the firmware installed yet. For that, choose the folder where your games are. Now close and open Ryujinx again. And now you can see it is successfully installed. Don't skip yet. Settings are important. If you don't pay attention here, your games would crash or games would lag like hell. As you can see the NCE option, it is the most important settings. Try to keep it enabled for best performance. But some games would crash, but keep trying and clearing cache data and try to use Egan's driver. But if the game still crashes, you should turn it off, but the game would lag. Other than that, disable VSync, disable docked mode, and enable performance mode. Now go down to graphics and lower the resolution if needed. Now for drivers, it is easy for Adreno GPUs. To find their drivers, just search for the latest turnip drivers for Adreno GitHub, and you can find an appropriate driver for your GPU. And for people with Mali GPUs or Xclipse GPUs, you can use Egean's driver. But I've provided a link in description, and here's a clip from my old video about specific Mali and Xclipse drivers. Secondly, open CPU-Z, download it from the Play Store and check for your GPU. And download the driver with the same name as your GPU. If you can't find the driver for your Mali GPU, then download the Egg NS driver. And if you have Xclipse GPU, then download this driver. Now select the GPU driver and finally you can play the game. I've tried some games in this video. Unfortunately, you cannot play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu due to the controls of Rujinx. If you really want to play it, watch my previous video about Uzui, and play it in Uzui or use the Skyline emulator. But Ryujinx right now provides superior performance than most other emulators. But as you know, Nintendo have made them drop the project, and this is the first and last build of Ryujinx. Which is sad, but we are to expect other modded versions of Ryujinx in future, as we have seen of Yuzu, which had a similar fate. Anyways, this is it. For today's video, I hope you were able to run it properly. Please like and consider subscribing to my channel. You may watch the full video. Bye.